Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Good night. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Hi. <laughs> good evening. So, uh, Claudia, you want me to go? <laughs> teacher, teacher. Yes, Anayansi. No. Pude hacer ni una buena en la práctica, en la, en la, de, en la tarea de día de ayer. No sé por qué. Uh, la, la pude traducir donde dice hacer las preguntas eh, que lleguen afirmativas o negativas y al final poner el punto. Ahí le mandé la, la captura porque las... Traté de manera de cambiarla de mil maneras y ninguna me sale buena. Así que tal vez después, cuando ya tenga tiempo, usted me, me puede ayudar ahí. No sé si yo no he entendido bien la pregunta. Porque solo es una respuesta, ¿verdad? Así es. Hagamos eso ahorita, que eh, habemos poquitos en la reunión, ¿le parece? Okay. Vaya, comencemos con eso entonces. Me está hablando Anayansi de la eh, de la sección 1. Yes. Ok, ok. Section 1. Section 1. Let me just one second. Come over here. Here we go. Uh, le digo una pregunta. Uh, number 1. Night at sleep. I. Yo puse. I sleep tonight. Bye. Si gusta, déjeme, déjeme, I mean, let, let me get the information over here, okay? Just one second. All right, so just one moment over here. So I'm just going to click on uh, the uh, section one, unit one, get to know someone, um, and then we take it from there, okay? So just one moment. So, uh, Nancy and everyone, in total, for each uh, homework, you have five, uh, uh, I would say, small tasks, okay? Entonces, and that's the way it is, All right? Nancy, si gusta, eh, quite el silencio de su micrófono. Esta es la primera tarea, okay? No le escucho. I can't, uh, you know, I don't listen to you. I can't listen. Es en la tarea 6. Mm, eh, lo que te tiene que hacer, Anayansi, es fijarse en la sección, ¿verdad? Sección 1, Unit 1, Get to Know Someone. ¿Ok? Y tiene que buscar de la sección 1, tarea 1, homework 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Sí, sí. Ah. ¿Esta es la que usted intentó hacer? Yo estoy en la tarea 6. Ya llegué a la tarea 6. Ok, de la sección 2. Mm. Vaya, es que aquí tenemos que, tenemos que eh, clarificar algo, ok. Y, y, y es lo que yo les quería mostrar en este momento, aprovechando que estamos poquitos en, en, en la clase, ¿verdad? Para después hacer la práctica. Eh, darle el audio un momento Me puede hacer consulta si gusta verdad pero vaya eh, voy a poner aquí student admin y voy a poner eh, vamos a ver voy a dejar de, de compartir eso verdad por cuestiones de no quiero mostrar sus notas y review gradebook ya les voy a mostrar ok Permítame un momento. Vamos a progress. Ok. 
Ok, so espero que con esta explicación que voy a dar eh, pueda evacuar la duda que usted tiene, Nancy. Si usted se va en el, en el curso a la, a la opción progreso o progress, va a poder ver cómo va usted en este módulo, ¿verdad? De 50 para arriba, muy buen porcentaje, pero nos está pidiendo el 100%. Mínimo de aprobación para esto es 80%, ¿verdad? Entonces, esto nos da un consolidado, ¿verdad? La homework one, number two, number three, four, el midterm que está acá, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, el final, etcétera, ¿ok? Este es, este, este es el promedio. Voy a hacer la pantalla un poquito más grande. Este es homework average. Significa que de la homework one, homework two, homework three, homework four, va a haber un promedio, ¿verdad? Hay un porcentaje. Luego el midterm le da un porcentaje. Y el final exam le da otro porcentaje. Si yo fuera un estudiante, igual que ustedes, ¿verdad? Llevando este curso, ¿verdad? Course progress para José Francisco Alfaro. Este soy yo. Hoy por hoy solo tengo el 2% de... Eh, porcentaje aprobado en esto. ¿Por qué? Porque, y fíjense aquí, Anaya, sí. Son cuatro secciones, ¿ok? Aparte de las cuatro secciones, usted tiene que hacer un examen parcial y un examen final, ¿ok? Entonces, por cada sección, tiene cuatro tareas pequeñas. Y esa, perdón, cinco tareas pequeñas. Y estas cinco tareas le van a dar nada más que el 20%. Y así consecutivamente, ¿verdad? Las Unit 2 Daily Routines le van a dar otro porcentaje y luego el midterm otro porcentaje, etcétera, etcétera. ¿Ok? ¿Qué es lo único distinto entre el midterm, que es el parcial, y, e igual que el final exam, eh, que es el examen final, obviamente? Con las tareas es que aquí el porcentaje es mayor. Si se fija, 25% en esto. ¿Verdad? 0 de 25, en cambio lo otro es 0 de 20. Si se fija en mi caso, yo solamente hice para práctica, para ver si este sistema funcionaba, hice solamente la, uh, la, la quinta tarea pequeña de la sección 1. Si se fija, ahí se me saqué 20 de 20. Entonces, como yo no he hecho lo demás, solo tengo 20 de 100, lo cual es un porcentaje bien bajo que se refleja acá. Entonces, Anayan, si usted me dice, yo estoy en la tarea 6, me imagino que está en la unidad 2, en este apartado que estoy aquí eh, señalando. ¿Es eso correcto? ¿Sí? Vaya. Entonces, solamente un friendly reminder to everyone. Unit 2, ¿verdad? Tarea pequeña, 1, 2, 3, 4 y 5 que son multiple choice uh, questions, it's due this coming Friday. ¿Ok? Fecha límite para hacer la tarea 2 de la plataforma es este viernes próximo. ¿Por qué los estoy apurando? Porque también se nos viene encima el midterm, que es el parcial, que tenemos que tener completo por lo menos el lunes que ya comencemos la, la tercera semana. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque la tercera semana vamos a hacer la tercera tarea, ¿verdad? Que son cinco tareas pequeñas de la, de la Section 3. Y luego, eh, igual, el viernes próximo terminamos la Unit 3 y también la tarea 3. La Unit 4 terminamos el... Y esto tenemos que apurarnos, ¿verdad? En esta última semana, porque tiene que, se, nos, se, nos, se nos sobrecarga la tarea 4 y el examen final. Entonces... Eh, a más tardar el viernes, les pido de, de favor, ¿verdad? Que vayamos completando esto. Y ya les voy a compartir la dinámica de cómo lo vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Pero en este momento quiero auxiliar un poquito a Nayansi porque me dice que en la tarea 6, sección 2, ha tenido problemas, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a revisar eso rapidito. Luego continuamos con la práctica. Ok. So, allow me just... One moment, over here. Eh, esta es tarea 6. Vamos a ver. Tarea 6. Should be this one. Esta es la que usted me decía. ¿Estoy en lo correcto? Ok. Entonces, these instructions and scramble the following affirmative and negative statements. Make sure to begin your sentence with a capital and type a period. Hay que tener mucho cuidado. Comience con una capital letter, es decir, mayúscula. Aquí se la da. 
y hay que ponerle punto final, que es period. Ok, si no hacemos eso, it's gonna be marked down as incorrect. Entonces aquí podría ser I sleep at night. All right. Uh, he works in a factory. Si les da error a, a, a no solamente usted, Ana, ya, si les da error a, a otras personas, es decir que la plataforma o está fallando o la answer uh, sheet, o sea, la, la hoja de respuesta está incorrecta. Ok, eso podría ser. Entonces ahí no es culpa suya, sino que es culpa del sistema. She. Vaya, en esta, una, una, una recomendación, ¿verdad? Y eso para evitarnos dolores de cabeza y todo eso. Cuando usted tenga algo contractado, mejor cópielo de aquí y péguelo abajo. Porque si le ponemos la comilla distinta, tiene más espacio, no nos la va a aceptar. Entonces lo mejor es copy and paste. Aquí sí se vale copiar y pegar. <ríe> ¿Verdad? En otras ocasiones no, ¿verdad? Portuguese. Eh, y le agregamos el punto. Otra recomendación que yo creo que ustedes también lo hacen y a mí me ha quedado de práctica es siempre double check, es decir, revisar. Tenemos a sleep at night. Ok, I think that's correct. He works in a factory. No se me quedó ninguna palabra. Tengo one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five words. Then I have, you go to the cinema. One, two, three, four, five in a period. And then I go, she doesn't speak Portuguese. Portu, Portuguese. One, two, three, four, four words. And then let me double check. It doesn't speak Portuguese. Y la última. Ya ves, se me quedaba una. Eh, we use. Uh -huh. We don't use. We don't. Uh -huh. We don't use computers. Computers. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Submit. Ya está todo correcto. Okay. <laughs> Como no se trata de copiar, verdad? Lo vamos a dar para atrás. Eso you can do it later. <laughs> Después le puede ayudar en privado, verdad? Si usted gusta la respuesta, se las mando, no hay ningún problema. Pero ahorita. <laughs> Vamos a esforzarnos. Dígame, Ana Yancy. <laughs> Para, eh, ahí va a observar usted que la captura que le mandé del teléfono es tan tal y como usted me la acaba de poner ahí, pero todas me aparecen en cruz. Que dice que no, no he recibido. Usted mandó unas al grupo y las borró y luego creo que no las volvió a mandar. Sí, Ajá, porque lo mandé al privado. Ajá, si me verifica, por favor, creo que alguien más se lo mandó. <laughs> Si no, si no lo mando al grupo, mejor porque. Mándelo, o sea, eso nos ayuda a todos. Nos ayuda a todos, no se preocupe. Vaya, este cuando pase, dice he works. Es, en la primera tiene un espacio de más, después del I sleep, tiene un espacio de más. Eh, ah. Y en la segunda es he works in a factory. Aquí le ha puesto he works a in factory. Ok. Y en la tercera le dice you go to the cinema. Eh, aquí tendría que estar bien quizás algún espacio está de más o algo que podría ser en Chidasen Speak Portuguese lo que le decía revise la comilla suya en Dasen en la número 4 y la que usted mandó Dasen también tiene un espacio distinto al Dasen entonces eso pasa y el, okay. y, y el We Don't Use igualmente que ese mm -hmm. es el error uh -huh. okay. en la gracias Vaya, <ríe> con gusto, okay. con gusto, ¿verdad? Qué bueno que ya están haciendo eh, 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 la segunda tarea, ¿verdad? That's the way it is, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, let, let's get started, all right? Let's get started over here. I think it's time to, to start right now. And uh, here we go. Okay, so let me just one second. Ya sabes, si tiene alguna consulta, algún problema con la plataforma, esto se lo digo a todos, escríbame, yo les contesto casi inmediatamente este, y lo podemos ver en esta, en, esto, en esta hora. Ok, creo que el tiempo invertido en eso no es tiempo perdido. All right, so let me just one second over here. And here we go. All right, full screen. So uh, today is Tuesday, February the 2nd, 2021, and the word of the night is, uh, I am, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Sometimes this expression is just to express uh, that you are an educated uh, 
human being, it doesn't really mean that you feel sorry about something, but it's just to show uh, politeness, right? Good manners. O sea, buenos, buenos modales. Para eso decimos, I'm sorry. Or sometimes it's because you really mean it. Okay? Sometimes that's the thing. Usted dice, I'm sorry. O solamente lo dicen los, los uh, gringos por default. That, I'm sorry. Okay. Que no es que en realidad usted se está dando golpes de pecho y se está, se está disculpando, ¿verdad? No. But that's what you say. But sometimes it's necessary, you know, to go the extra mile. What do I mean by this? Tenemos que ir como la extra mile. You can say, I sincerely apologize. Esta primera frase, más que todo in writing, okay? You can use that in writing. So don't worry about like uh, in a spoken uh, context, all right? Este es más que todo en writing. I owe you an apology. Es como bastante formal, ¿verdad? Pero it depends on the situation, ¿ok? I owe you, owe you an apology. Te debo, ¿verdad? Literalmente. I owe you an apology. Una disculpa. Te debo una disculpa. All right? Ever so sorry, ¿verdad? Mil disculpas. All right? Ever so sorry. ¿Ok? Ever so sorry. I had that wrong, ¿verdad? Me equivoqué. You know, I had it wrong, or I had that wrong. And excuse me. This one you use it, you know, to, to say, okay, excuse me, uh, para pedir permiso. Mostly, right? And then it's all my fault. It's all my fault. It's mi culpa. And this one is very formal. So you can use, uh, pardon me, you know, pardon me. Pardon me. Okay. And you can also say um, the following. Now, take a look at my screen, please. Okay. You can also add another one. You can say, um, I'm going to write it down over here. Okay. You can say, my bad. Okay. My bad means my mistake. Right? Okay. Mi culpa, verdad? Literally, my bad means uh, mi, mi malo, verdad, o mi maldad, okay? But you're not saying that. You're saying that's my mistake. You know, I'm sorry. You know, I owe you an apology. Excuse me. It's my fault. Uh, traducción literal, you know, it, this is a literal translation. It's all my fault, or it's my fault, or pardon me, okay? Or excuse me, verdad, perdón, verdad? You, you, make, you make a mistake, and then immediately you say, I'm sorry. You make a mistake and then you say, uh, excuse me, verdad, perdón, all right? And you, made a, you make a mistake and then you, you say, uh, it's my fault, my bad, my mistake, okay? My bad is very informally used, okay? Está usted con, con sus amigos y algo dijo mal, lo escuchó mal, y dice, oh, I'm sorry, Raul, my bad, okay? My bad, verdad, mi error, all right? No, no, no es que esté diciendo mi malo. Uh, <laughs> tú, bueno. No, that's, <laughs> that's something else, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so let, let, let's keep uh, moving over here. Now, I think it's, it's, uh, it's important in, uh, to talk about what's the weather like today, by the way. You know, we have a, a different uh, type of weather today, so that's why I'm wearing this. It's not that I'm cold. But uh, since, you know, I'm dressed for the occasion, you know? So what's the weather like today? It's cold and windy, I would say. And it's a, and it's a nice weather, you know? Don't you think so? It's, it's a great weather, all right? Let me ask you, so Eduardo, do you prefer to have a weather just like this? Let's say cool wind, uh, I would say windy, or let's say like hot summer weather? I prefer windy. <laughs> Windy, right, and cool, so you don't have to use the fan, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you don't have to use the fan over there. That happens. Nice. And, you know, the good thing about this type of weather is that mosquitoes, you know, they go away, right? Yeah, they go away. Mosquitoes, they yeah. go away, definitely, right? And that, that's a plus, all right? That's definitely a plus. Nice. All right, so whenever you make a mistake and when you're practicing uh, here in groups, you can say, my bad. All right, my mistake, my fault, pardon me, right? So, or sorry about that, okay? You can say that too, okay? Sorry about that, 
All right. Please use this expression. All right. Let's let's keep rolling this. Again, this is a friendly reminder. And very quickly, uh, this Wednesday we have a schedule on the one on one sessions. Uh, the first ten minutes, Cesar, please. All right. Yeah, I think you are over here. Let's. Yeah, you, there you are. And then I have Mr. Nelson Ivan. Yes, he's over here. Eduardo, sir, um, if you like, I mean, you can switch. Okay, so, and uh, Sarai, yes, you're more than welcome. Uh, this uh, Wednesday, your term is 10.30 to 10.40, okay? And Baltasar Neftali Gonzalez, uh, Mr. Balta Gonzalez, it's uh, from 10.40 to 10.50. Since I get paid an hour, you see, quedan 10 minutos todavía. See, if you want to join from 10.50 to 10, uh, I mean, to 11, you can, you know, reach on. Like in Spanish, we say, se puede reenganchar de las 10 y 50 a las 11 el miércoles. Okay? Se puede reenganchar. Solamente me avisa para que no tenga dos o tres, ¿verdad? <laughs> en lo mismo ahí. Pero that's okay. All right? So let's go moving forward over here. This is what I said. If you want to keep track of the uh, the progress you have, you go to the platform, you know, click on progress, and then you're going to have this uh, graph, and you see homework one, two, three, four, the average, and then you have the midterm. Uh, let me just uh, expand this. Van a la plataforma, le dan donde dice progreso, and then it's going to, uh, you know, display these options in there. Homework one, two, three, four, and this is the average. Then you have the midterm, the final exam, and then the total, okay? By the end of this module, you're supposed to have at least, uh, sorry, I got the, uh, there you go. 80% out of the uh, homework assignments, midterm and the final exam, okay? In order for you to pass. O sea, el 50% se lo va a dar la plataforma Que usted, la, que usted tenga el 80% correcto y la asistencia arriba del 80% a estas clases. ¿Ok? Entonces, everything counts, over there, but you know that already. And just to, to, to remind you, ¿verdad? Y perdón que insista mucho en esto. Every single week, there is a homework y el, el día último que vamos a estar dejando va a ser el día viernes. Todos los viernes, ¿verdad? A medianoche, lo pueden mandar antes durante la semana. Este, entonces usted la completa y le voy a pedir un favor. Como tenemos un grupo de WhatsApp, cuando usted ya complete la section 2 o la tarea que esté abierta, ya sea que me manda la gráfica que le mostré anteriormente, que me muestre el homework 2 con un buen score, ¿verdad? O me manda esta captura de pantalla. You send this screenshot y si gusta lo comparte, me lo manda a mí en privado para decir, ok, I'm done. Así como hizo con la, con la, el, el listening de, de los uh, email addresses, ¿verdad? O comparte el chat general o me lo manda a mí en privado y me dice, vaya, ok, José, there you go, this is my homework. Ya, yeah. like we say, estoy chele. <laughs> right? So, les pido para que nos motivamos, ¿verdad? Y así yo también llevo un mejor control porque yo tengo que subir notas en el sistema de Insafor los viernes Entonces, me presionan a mí. And this is a domino effect, right? Okay. And I'm sorry to push you, but uh, I, I got no other option. Me sincero con usted. So this evening, my friends, we will cover the simple present. Okay. For both affirmative and negative statements. Sentences and statements are basically the same. All right. Statement also means declaración. Okay. Statement. Declaración. Okay. And then you go affirmative and negative statement. Financial statement, ¿verdad? Estado financiero. Okay. Statement. Financial statement. Le estoy dando un par de sinónimos, ¿verdad? Para que veamos el uso de estas palabras. Positive or negative. Okay. Affirmative statement. Si está en el cuartel, right? You go affirmative, right? You don't say negative, right? Lo mandan fusilar. <laughs> right? Okay, so this is just an introduction, all right? So now with your microphone either open or close, please repeat after me. We're going to go first 
with the uh, affirmative statements, and then we will move with the with the negative statements. Okay, so I'll say the the, the sentence, and if you want, you repeat after me, or you just mute your microphone. But please do the practice. Verdad, hacemos la práctica, ya sea que usted esté en silencio o abre su micrófono. La cuestión está que practique la oración, please. Okay, I keep track of the financial account. You know the policies and regulations. We advertise the company. They help companies against financial loss. Okay, that's affirmative statements over there. Okay. Uh, second, uh, second time. Okay, affirmative statements. I keep track of the financial account. You know the policies and regulations. We advertise the company. They help companies against uh, financial loss. Can I have a volunteer, please, that can help us read all of the affirmative statements? Un voluntario que diga yo, por favor. This is just practice, you know, we're just practicing the pronunciation. I haven't yet explained grammar, okay? I haven't explained the structure, the explicado gramática, nada de eso. This is just an introduction, all right? Just a simple statement. So, es una, un enunciado, una, una oración simple, okay? May I have just one volunteer, please? Yes, Flor, go ahead, please. I keep track of the fish on the fish on our account. You know the policies and regulations. We advertise the company, the health companies, and get financial loss. Thank you so much. We go financial account, policies, regulations, advertise against, against, against financial loss. ¿Verdad? Pérdida financiera. That's what we're saying over there. Thank you. May I have a gentleman now? Or maybe a lady. That's okay. Another volunteer, please. Or should I, choose, should I, uh, should I choose with my finger? All right? Democráticamente lo hacemos. <laughs> All right? César. All right. Go ahead, please, sir. Okay. Number two, negative uh, statements. Uh, I don't keep tracks uh, of the financial account. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't know the police and regulation. Okay. Uh, we don't advertise uh, the company. Okay. Uh, they don't help companies against financial loss. All right. Thank you, sir. Now, just one thing, please. And please don't get frustrated. If your, I would say your your uh, job has nothing to do with this uh, environment or this field. O sea, si lo que usted se dedica no tiene nada que ver con esto, financial accounts, policies. Cuidado, verdad? Policies. Yo sé que ustedes saben que no significa policías, verdad? But just to clarify, no significa policías, significa políticas, verdad? Like. Uh, like in a company, right? In regulation, regulations, all right? Las reglas que rigen, ¿verdad? Entonces, we say financial account, account, ¿verdad? Cuenta. Por eso es que contador se dice accountant, ¿verdad? Contador, accountant, okay? And um, so you say, I don't, I don't, okay? Cuando lo menciona esa, esa palabra solita, Va, va, va a pronunciar la T. You know, you say, I don't. But if you want to go, let's see, a little bit more informal, you can say, I don't keep, I don't, I don't, I don't. Como que diga I don't, ¿verdad? Como que diga I don't, man, pero no con esa fuerza de voz. Decir, I don't, I don't, ¿verdad? I don't keep track. You don't know. You don't. We don't advertise. They don't, wrong, wrong. It's up to you, ¿verdad? No le estoy diciendo. Dígalo así siempre. But it's up to you. Si está en una junta o hablando formalmente, you know, speaking like formally, you're going to say, I don't keep track. La T en realidad no se pronuncia, okay, cuando está en una oración, ¿verdad? Cuando va en conjunto, when it's all together. You don't really pronounce the T, okay? O la pronuncia mínimamente. Así que consejo sano, ¿verdad? Como decían, para llegar a viejo. Eh, no mencioné la T. ¿Verdad? Porque eso no es parte del idioma, de la producción natural. ¿Ok? Puede decirlo. You know, I don't keep track of uh, whatever. Uh, you don't know. We don't advertise. They don't help. ¿Ok? 
I don't keep, you don't know, we don't advertise, uh, they don't help. Ok. Solo medio se siente que la lengua toca el paladar, ¿verdad? Para hacerlo de la T, pero no se pronuncia como they don't. No. Ok. Si usted quiere enfatizar y dice, um, puede, le puede decir, uh, yo le puedo preguntar, uh, uh, do you, uh, do you take the bus, you know, to work? You can say, no, I don't. Y ahí sí me dice con la letra T y hasta tira saliva, ¿verdad? Don't, ¿verdad? And then you say just like that, ¿ok? Informally speaking, usted puede decir iron, ¿verdad? Iron, la D la hace una R, ¿ok? But that is just pronunciation order. Lo importante es que ocupemos esto. Let's continue over here. Our next topic for the evening. Um, one second. Remember yesterday we were uh, studying, you know, the the uh, articles. We were studying this, okay? We were studying these articles and for a vowel sound and now for a consonant sound, okay? And we cannot take things for granted, but no podemos dar las cosas por sentado. So that means that now we're gonna continue talking about, I will say, basic stuff. But let's let's take a look at these prepositions, you know, and the article that. Okay, so that's the emphasis over here. I'll go full screen. And here we go. So hear me out, please. Listen and practice. What are the keys, verdad? ¿Cuál es la referencia? What's our point of uh, reference? La caja, perdón, la, o la llave, las llaves en referencia a la caja, all right? So in this case, we're talking about what are the keys? Donde están las llaves? Behind, behind, or behind, okay? Two pronunciations. You can say behind or behind, okay? And next one, where are the keys? Uh, si no quiere decirme, the keys are, como decía, but the books on the table, right? Table, table, right? Un comercial por ahí. Este, va a decir solamente on the box, okay? Next to the box, right? In the box, okay? In front of the box, under the box. In means dentro. Puede decir también inside, all right? You can say inside the box. So what are the keys? Inside the box. What are the keys? On the box. What are the keys? Behind or behind the box. What are the, key? the keys? Next to the box next to the TV, uh, on the table, etc. under, right? Under, this one, under. Okay. That being said, uh, we're gonna do a listening right now, okay? So I want you to do me a favor, please. Uh, in your notebooks or in your cell phones, okay? Um, write from one, to let's see from one to six all right so very quickly please grab a page and, uh you know get a pencil and something like that and just write one two three four five and six okay you have to complete um va a completar verdad el listening usted va a escuchar los prepositions puede decir que va a escuchar uh, on in under behind next to, et cetera, et cetera. Based on the images, you have an idea already, verdad? Si usted ya se adelantó, that's great, verdad? But you're gonna listen to the pronunciation, okay? You're gonna listen to the pronunciation right now. So we're good? Yes? All right, thank you. <clears throat> so let me just one second, let me get the, the information over here. In the meantime, you know, so we don't waste time, all right? In the meantime, let me send this image to you so you can have it, all right? Because you're gonna need this for later, all right? So I'm gonna send this to you right now. Any questions? Or everything it's okay so far? So far, so good. Yes? Okay. 
Uh, you gotta be patient a little bit, ¿verdad? Porque ahorita vamos como explicando algunas cosas. Eh, entonces, como que... I know you're waiting for the practice, but you gotta be patient, all right? So, hold your horses. Okay, hold your horses. Um, there you go. So, now I'm looking for the listening. I have it right here. Okay. So, just one second. Okay, so um, what's the exercise? Let me double check over here. Thing is exercise nine. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. <clears throat> Page 12, exercise nine, part B. Complete these sentences, then listen and check your answers. One. Okay, I'm about to share the screen right the now. The books are in the book bag. All right. Two. The cell phone, phone is next to the hairbrush. Let me just one second. Let me play it again. Three. And minimize this. Okay. And let me take away uh, this. All right, and here we go. So what you should be doing right now is just uh, write the preposition, right? Like in, the, under, behind, on, next to, in front of, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Do we have an agreement? Yes. All right, here we go then. Page 12, exercise 9, part B. Complete these sentences, then listen and check your answers. 1. The books are in the book bag. 2. The cell phone is next to the hairbrush. 3. The map is under the newspaper. Four. The chair is behind the desk. Mm -hmm. Five. The wallet is on the notebook. Six. The sunglasses are in front of the purse. All right. So uh, may I please have a volunteer, please, very quickly that can help us with the answers over here. Because I don't think you need a second uh, opportunity, all right? So just one person, please, only one person, okay? Let's see, uh, or let me choose, if you don't mind. So Eduardo, would you help us, sir, with the answers over here, if you, if you have? Yeah. And number one is in the book bag, right? Because it's right there. Okay. Yes, the number two next to the hair hairbrush. Okay. And number three under the newspaper. Okay. Four behind the desk. All right. Five on the notebook. Okay. And six in front of the purse. So sunglasses are in front of the purse. Yeah, that's actually perfect. Okay. Thank you. So uh, let me stop sharing this screen and let, we're gonna move forward in here. I know these prepositions are not supposed to be part of this module, okay, of this class, but I think it's important that you, uh, you know, get familiar with them, okay? Hecho no son parte de este módulo, but I think it's, it was important, all right, to mention this. So save the, the image that I sent to you to the WhatsApp because you're gonna be using it in a second, all right? in a second. So this, this is getting better, all right? And that's what I think. Now, as you see in here, you're going to make a comparison, va a ser una comparación. So you have picture number one versus picture number two. Okay, so what you guys are going to be working on will be three activities, all right? 
very simple. Uh, la primera actividad que van a practicar es, the first activity will be this uh, exercise B on this one, complete the sentences, then listen and check your answers. Exactly what Eduardo just did, this is what you will be doing in pairs or in groups of three, you're going to take turns. Van a tomar turnos, okay, para hacer esto en los, en los salones pequeños. And then you're going to take turns comparing picture one and picture two. Now, look at all the items, or I would say the stuff in this uh, bedroom, all right? Look at the posters on the wall, look at the map on the wall, the TV on this uh, desk, the, the laptop on the table, you know, the uh, trash can over here. So the umbrella, so where's the umbrella? So the thing is like, look at every item and then compare it. Like, for example, how are the two pictures different? Ask questions to find the difference. Where are the sunglasses? Imagine that I'm working with, let's see, I'm working with David. So David, so imagine that I'm working with you and I, I will ask you, so uh, David, uh, where are the, or where is, what is the laptop on, on the picture one? And then you gotta, you gotta, you have many possibilities, right? You have uh, the, the, the laptop compared to the lamp and the laptop compared to the cup of coffee and the laptop also compared to the table, all right? So you see my point over there. So you have many options in there. And then maybe David, you me la regresa, verdad? Then you answer and you ask me and then you tell me, all right, so now, uh, Jose, uh, look at this. Where is the radio? Okay, or where is the cell phone, right? And then I'm gonna answer to you is uh, i don't know it's next to the uh, to the uh to the radio all right it, or it's on the uh night table etc etc so this is the second thing so ask and answer questions verdad or another variation otra variación que pueden ustedes hacer o implementar es simplemente eh, describe what you see in there okay you go, so the dictionary, I think, yeah, this is a dictionary, le dan, verdad, zoom in. The dictionary is on the chair. And in this, but on picture two, but on picture two is on the bed. Okay? Yes, we're good? All right. So you have to, you know, look at both images in there. Ya sea que ustedes se pregunten mutuamente o solamente describan, verdad, elija un objeto. All right, so it's up to you. Okay, ya les envío esto. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll be sending this in a second. That's one thing. Now, look at this one. This is my favorite, by the way. You know, this is my favorite. L I mean, look at this place. First, identify the items, okay, or the furniture. You know, identify the furniture. Identifiquemos los muebles, ¿verdad? Aprendámonos esta palabra, ¿verdad? Furniture. I just sent that word to the uh, Zoom chat so you guys know how to say muebles, verdad? Los, los, los muebles, verdad? Appliances son los electrodomésticos, verdad? Appliances, All right? Appliances, electrodomésticos. Furniture es los muebles, verdad? Okay, that's the appliances like your table, shirts, and everything, right? Appliances, electrodomésticos, you know, something with electricity and then furniture, you know, based on uh, wood most of the time. Okay. But let's go back to the image in there. All right. So what you have in there? Uh, the name of this activity is what's wrong with this room? Okay. So what's wrong with this room? ¿verdad? ¿Qué tiene de malo esta habitación? What's wrong with this room? Make a list, find 10 things. Entonces, you, you got to find 10 things that are wrong. You know, they are placed you know, in a wrong way. O sea, que están colocadas de una forma errónea, okay? Eh, pero lo vamos a hacer en grupo, all right? That's what you're going to do. You have this clock, the laptop, the TV. You see it's on the window, the newspaper over there, the sofa, the cell phone, all right? The uh, backpack, the umbrella, all right? This is just a painting, right? A painting, painting, right? Painting, that's how, that's how you say it in there, you know, a painting. Okay, I'm sending this to the chat, all right? Painting. 
Ok. That's a painting, ¿verdad? Una pintura, ¿verdad? And you, what about the chairs in here? The chairs, all right? Si están las la, la, la sillas, uh, they're under the table, right? Si estuvieran de cabeza, no va, no va a decir of head, ¿verdad? No, you're not going to say that. You're going to say something different over here. Okay? And then, eh, ya lo pongo a practicar, ¿verdad? Para que se nos quite el sueño un poquito. <laughs> okay, eh, upside down. De cabeza es upside down. Cuando usted tiene muchos problemas también, you feel upside down, ¿verdad? Que todo le da vuelta. Upside down, over there. Upside down. Algo que está de cabeza, ¿verdad? O patas arriba, we say it's upside down. All right? So, um, I'm making the groups right away. Es decir, inmediatamente. And then, vamos a practicar tres cosas. So, you will practice three things. Number one, eh, the uh, prepositions like the books are in the, the cell phone, etc. Number two, find the differences. And number three, what's wrong with this room? Okay. And again, you can take turns, but I puede tomar turnos, etc., etc. Eh, let's get to work then. Here we go. And go ahead, please. So Eduardo, Rocío, and Sanchez, and Flor, you're together. David, uh, uh, Bal Mr. Balta, Catherine, you're together. Claudia, Dolores, and Mr. Hernandez, you're together. Anayansi, Juan Carlos, and, and Oscar, you're together. Cesar, Jacqueline, and Raul. Go ahead, please enjoy it. The first image is on the chat already, okay? Chair is behind the table. Behind the table. Yeah. The wallet, the wallet is on the on the notebook. Y las seis sería de sonras are in front of. In front of the purse, le puse yo. No sé qué le pusieron ustedes. Es que como solo es la, solo son estas cositas que están ahí, en front of, on the new. Ah, ya mandó el otro. Uh -huh. Yeah, the images are on the chat already. Okay, the three of them. Okay. El segundo ejercicio. Okay. 
Pero ese es el tercero, ¿verdad? Ajá, el otro. Ajá, ya lo vi. El, 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 el segundo one es uh, find the difference. The third one is what's wrong with the, with the room. Ok. Uh -huh. Ah, pues entonces vamos a irnos. Aquí es muy bien. Ay, no veo esto. Perdón. Ahora se me acuerdo. Como se ve mi teléfono, no le veo su nombre. Flor. Uh, you have uh, Eduardo and you have Flor. Ah, ok. No lo voy a cerrar porque ya digo. I mean, you can take turns to describe the both. Okay. Uh, uh, Flor, where is the umbrella in the picture one? In picture one, all right. Um, pero ahorita voy. Or, or, or what you can do also, um, uh, Marco, uh, Rocío. <coughs> Just describe one picture and then the other person describes the other one. Like, for example, you can go, Eduardo. Right, so on picture two, the umbrella is on the table, but on picture one is on the uh, trash can. Ah, sí, lo vi, pero creo que la que me... ¿Cómo se dice basurero? Perdón. Trash can. Trash? Trash can. Botella basura. Or waste basket. The waste basket or... Es esto de la basura, a ver, waste de... Uh, ya, lo voy a, ya lo voy a mandar, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share it with you, all right? Okay. All right, so, okay. I think that's better because in that way you are comparing, okay? So, okay. All right. Okay. Entonces sería que está in the, the basket. Okay. Exactly. Fresh. Uh -huh. The umbrella is the basket. Así sería. Excuse me? It's in, in the trash can. In the trash can. This is in the... <laughs> uh, let's try let's try to let's try to do it please so we, we take advantage please. The, all right the orange backpack and picture one is under the table but and picture b uh, picture two sorry uh, in front of the table. Uh -huh, you can say like that. So on, on picture one, is <laughs> etc. But on uh, picture two, you can say you can make the contrast because that's the difference. Okay. All right. I'll be back. English. In English. Uh -huh. Por teacher. Teacher. Uh -huh. este, no, no le hemos entendido a este a la a la segunda imagen. Donde Find tenemos que identificar. Ajá, ajá exacto. Vale, mira, Las hay diferencias. Mucho, ok, hay muchas formas en que usted puede practicar esta cuestión. Ok. Lo, lo mejor sería, para no hacerlo tan simple, la, lo siguiente. Ok, so listen. Usted elige un, un artículo. Voy a elegir para fines eh, la umbrella, ok? La sombrilla. No, la sombrilla. Entonces yo solamente voy a describir, ok, on picture one. The umbrella is in the trash can, but on picture two, it's under the table, or the umbrella it's under the table. Okay. Entonces la sombrilla está debajo de la mesa. Ajá, aquí está abajo. Or you can say the umbrella is uh, in behind the uh, the trash can. Verdad. La cuestión está que diga por lo menos una verdad. You know something true. Okay. Ok, digamos, o sea, la, la pizza está en, en el piso. O, o sea, Ajá, you can sería? say that. The pizza, <laughs> on picture one, uh, the pizza is, is uh, on the floor, ok? Uh -huh. And on picture two, is, you know, it's also on the floor, right? But on picture mm -hmm. two, the pizza is behind the chair uh -huh. and is okay. next to the backpack, right? Next to the backpack. That's the difference. 
Okay, or you can say in front of the backpack. You know, it depends okay. on you know how you say it. Okay, it depends on how you say it. Like for example, I can ask you, so where is the backpack? Then you can tell me. On picture one, the backpack is behind the night table. Okay, I'm oh, no, sorry, it's under the night table. But on picture two is in front of the night table or next to the bed or it's on the floor. It's on the floor. Uh -huh. So there are more than wait more than one option in here possible. Y digamos el, el, el mapa está sobre la, la pared. It's on the wall. El, on. El, 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 on the wall. Perdón. Me decía. Sí, eh, ¿cómo se diría el mapa está sobre la pared? On. On. O N. On. 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 Y si se fija en on picture one, the map is on the wall and behind the lamp. The lamp está atrás de la de la de la lámpara. But but on picture two is on the wall only. And you can say next to the next to the TV, all right? You may say that. Okay. La cuestión está identificar el lugar y la proposición. Okay. Okay. Uh, Profesor, uh, fíjese que yo identifico los objetos, pero um, le soy sincero, antes sé a veces cómo se pronuncia en inglés cada objeto, o sea, no, no me dificulta explicar que están en cierto lugar y que deben de estar en el lugar correcto, pues. Uh -huh. Vaya, este... Pero vaya, en ese caso, eh, David, podemos seguir el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Elegir artículos. Por ejemplo, what do you see here? ¿Qué mira usted acá? Lo que estoy señalando. El libro. Puede ser un libro no, o puede no, ser no. un diccionario. ¿Ok? Un diccionario. Okay, dictionary, okay. Dictionary. dictionary. Entonces, lo que hace usted es busca el mismo objeto en la segunda imagen. ¿Verdad? Entonces, lo que hace usted, compara. Aquí está en, en la silla y aquí está en la cama. Eso es lo que usted va a comparar, ¿verdad? Entonces, solamente va a decir, the dictionary is on, vimos en la, en la diapositiva, on es en, ¿verdad? O encima. The dictionary is on the chair, in this picture, but on the second picture is on the bed. ¿Ok? No tiene que decir oraciones completas, pero por lo menos las preposiciones, lo que estamos viendo, por lo menos diga, the book is is on the chair and the uh, picture two the book is on the bed okay y luego en la siguiente usted puede decir aquí aquí que mira mira el celular voy a darle a ampliar esto eh, vaya aquí está un celular viejito y está una radio okay entonces yo, radio. yo puedo elegir mm, vamos a ver en referencia aquí está enfrente de de la radio ¿Vea? si usted va a entrar va a en, entra o sea lo mira frente de Ok, entonces aquí puede decir the cell phone is in front of the radio. Y buscamos dónde está. Aquí está next to. On picture two is next to. Entonces, eh, por eso mandé eh, tres imágenes. La primera solo identificamos la preposición, ¿verdad? Aquí, ¿verdad? Están a la par. The cell phone is next to. En esta, el mapa, ¿verdad? Está encima de. The map is on. Ok. Es on this page or, or is, uh, quiero ver, no, el mapa está abajo, de, el, el, el periódico está encima. The map is under, ¿verdad? Under es abajo, ¿ok? Then we go, la, la, la silla está atrás, ¿ok? The chair is behind, que está acá, behind, atrás, behind the desk. Luego, la, la billetera, ¿dónde está? Está encima, ¿verdad? The wallet is está encima. on, es on. Wallet is. Es on. Oh, right? igual es luego, on. Luego, luego los lentes, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que estoy preguntando? Los lentes. Entonces, the sunglasses are, están enfrente de, you know, in, in, front, front of. in front of, ¿el qué? In front of the purse. All right? okay. Entonces, aquí solamente usted elige, es libre, ¿verdad? Si puede elegir, no sé, eh, este poster que está acá arribita, eh, 
están solo en la pared. They are on the wall. Eh, eso es todo, pues. Y aquí okay. la pizza, el backpack. El, la, la mochila que está abajo de la, de la mesita. De, de la, la mesita, mesa. ajá. The night table, night. Y luego table está on, aquí está abajo. It's under, pero aquí está adelante, enfrente. Adelante. Entonces, no tiene que hacer relaciones completas, sino que solo identificar dónde está el objeto y luego lo busca y lo compara. That's it. Ok, perfecto, gracias. En on the other one, David, aquí sí, ¿verdad? Ah, eso. Es. Ajá, ajá. Aquí solamente lo que va a decir es, eh, ¿qué está malo? Va a decir, ok, what's wrong? Eh, lo que está malo es que el sofá está encima del, del escritorio y, eh, y no se tiene que ser así, solo va a decir, the sofa is on the desk, ok. ¿Qué está malo? Que la mochila está en el basurero. So the backpack is in the trash can, que está malo, no va a poner el, el reloj este grande, este mueble enfrente de la tele, ¿verdad? Es the clock is in front of the TV, eso, eso es lo malo, y va, y va identificando, ¿verdad? Yes, ok, uh -huh. gracias. That's what you do. All right. All right, so. Hombre, ok. Está. Este, este, hombre, la, este. Mm -hmm. Are you on this one or, or this? Find the difference. Finding the differences. ¿En cuál? Um, ¿Está en este o en el siguiente? Perdón. En este estamos. En este. Ok. In this. In this one, right? All right. In this. Nice. It's in this one. That's ok. Yes. Es, estamos. Uh, in the picture one, the uh -huh. child is on the table. The and chair. 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 Mm -hmm. The chair is? Is on the table. Perdón. And a picture dos. Mm -hmm. And a picture dos. The child on the bed. Uh, ah, me está diciendo el diccionario. Sí. Ok, the dictionary, dictionary, um, dictionary, books, o puede, yeah. o, o puede, me, o me dice el book, o el book, the book is, verdad, book. Ah, uh, vaya, no se preocupe. Book. Ok. Ahí está. Basurero, está bien que digamos dump. dump. No, yo le mandé al chat de WhatsApp y al chat de aquí de Zoom. Escribí eh, la forma en que lo puede decir, ¿verdad? Dice basurero, trash can, pero traducción eh, literal es bote de la basura, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Trash can, o puede decir cesto de la basura. Ahí va a decir waste basket, ¿verdad? Basket como cesto y waste de desperdicio. Ahí está en el chat. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Vaya, you can do it this way, ¿verdad? You don't have to say like complex sentences, but listen up, please. You choose the uh, the item, all right? E, oh, let me expand this screen, okay? Let me expand this screen. Right, here we go. Let me locate, verdad? Lice con la lupa, verdad? <laughs> and then I'm locating the radio and the cell phone, okay? This is picture two, pero vamos a describir el cell phone and the radio. So I can say on picture two, the radio, I'm sorry, the uh, cell phone is next to the radio. O puede decir, the radio is next to the cell phone. Ahí ustedes. Mm -hmm. And then you go on picture one. Oh, okay. The cell phone is in front of. In front. It's in front of in the, uh, the radio. Si quiere ser así como una oración bien completa y un poquito más fluido, puede decir, okay. On picture one, the cell phone is in front of the radio. But, pero, but, but on picture two, it's. Next to. Next. Radio. Next to. Radio. radio, ¿verdad? Como más fluido. Yes. Es como mm -hmm. lo del book, ¿verdad? On picture one, mm -hmm. the, book, the book is on the chair. But on picture two, it's on the bed. Bed. All right? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. Yes. Like the backpack over here. What about the backpack, Mr. Hernandez? The backpack. Can you, can you tell me the backpack? Backpack, backpack is um, under the table. But in on picture, picture one, mm -hmm. in, in picture two, is front of the table. It's in front of, yeah, that's it. Yes, that's it. Yes, yes, yes. Right. All you have to do is 
you know, communicate. That's it. Okay. And be and you have to be understood, verdad? Tenemos que darnos a entender. So let's continue, please. Okay. All right. Um. In a picture one, yes. uh, the computer on in the table. All right, I gotta go, okay? Es un, tel es un televisor que está colgado. Eh, ah, y, pero está en la ventana, en la window. Uh -huh. uh, Entonces podría decir que... In the TV, TV is from the TV. window. T the T P in the it's window. From the, it's from the windows. Is in front of. Is is from off. Perdón. <laughs> eh, o, podría ser esta. Uh -huh. Está el. Cell phone. Esto es como un. Te, teléfono pero de los de casa no sé si tiene una variación es a wireless wireless phone ah es inalámbrico wireless wireless phone. Or, you la, say, la, or you can say or you can say just a phone phone right phone that's okay the umbrella is behind the picture como yeah. así podría decirse picture uh, let's see yeah you can say picture or you can say painting Painting. The pintura, uh -huh. painting. Painting. Or picture. But painting is better. Oh, otra podría ser. So, eh, <laughs> a desk, eh, front, uh -huh. enfrente de la puerta. O it's algo in front of the door. Desk. Correct. Correct. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. No me había fijado, but you're right. You're right. El periódico de la pared. Hmm? It's supposed to be on the table, right? Or on the desk. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, did you find 10, 10 uh, 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 RAM stuff or 10 mistakes? Yes, errores. Una, dos, Two, tres, cuatro, eight, four, cinco, five, seis, six, siete. Eight, esa. All right. Ocho, nueve. Seis, siete. Y esto, la basura está fuera uh -huh. del vaso de la You got it, you got it, right? Pero como es cultura de nosotros, para tirar en la calle. We shouldn't be that way. We shouldn't be that way, right? No. The, new, yes. the newspaper is in the world. Is uh -huh. in the waste basket or trash can? No, no. The newspaper ah, okay, is, muy bien. Is in, is in the world. It's in the world. It's in the world. It's in the world. It's on the wall, I'm sorry. It's on the wall. On. On the wall. On the wall. Okay. okay. Para, nos, para nosotros, there's not a big difference to de say in and on, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad, in es dentro de, igual que inside, y on es encima de, o sobre. Okay. Okay. All right. So, una palabrita nos cambia el significado. Si yo le digo, so where is my backpack? Y usted me dice, no, pero le digo, where is my cell phone? Y le digo, it's on the backpack. Lo, lo, un gringo le va a entender que está encimita, ¿verdad? Encima. Encima eh, de la mochila. Ajá, pero if, 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 if you mean, pero si usted quería decir, eh, it's in, es como que, ok, tiene que decir inside, it's inside, ¿verdad? está adentro. Uh, ¿Verdad? Nice. Okay. This, is, this is a great exercise. And now, para hacer, to go to the other, another level, my friends, you can go, all right. Describa todo en una sola vez, si usted gusta. You can go, okay. The umbrella is uh, behind the painting. The uh, backpack is in the waste basket. The trash is on the floor next to the waste basket. Y usted ahí va, ¿verdad? No lo puede hacer ahorita, pero lo puede hacer usted solito, ¿verdad? Y ahí va, ¿verdad? You, you do it that, that way, you know, at home. Lo puede hacer cuando nadie lo moleste, no ahorita, or you can do it right now. So it's up to you, okay? ¿verdad? Pero se lo tenemos que enviar, vean. Eh, yeah, you can send it to me. That's okay. Pero this is just practice. You can send it to me. All right. That, es que that, todo lo hice con lápiz. That's okay, sir. That's okay. Me acuerdo que usted dijo la vez pasada that your handwriting was special. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I remember. I remember, sir. <laughs> Así, colocha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can practice this. Let's see what time is it. It's 9.09. Okay. I'm going to give you, let's say, two more minutes for you to practice. But you practice maybe this one, you practice the other one. It's up to you. La cuestión está, let's, ahorita, quizás no vamos en la comprensión. Right now, it's just the, the pronunciation, you know, and the fluency. Okay? Okay. Te escucha cortado, Oscar. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Espérame. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Hola, hola. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Bueno. ¿Cómo se dice? El, eh, car cartera de... ¿De qué? Purse. Yeah, purse. Purse, right. Purse. 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 If it's for women, it's purse. Si es billetera es Juan Carlos. Uh, wallet. It's a wallet, correct. Correct. It's a wallet. wallet. It's a wallet. All right. Are you working on this uh, exercise? Like what's yes, wrong yes. in this room? Are you working on this? Or, or, or the, the previous? Sí, ya, yes. ya, lo, ya lo trabajamos. Lo que pasa es que estábamos, o sea, comenzamos oh, a practicar okay. desde el uno. <laughs> Pero sí, ese ya lo trabajamos. Yeah, that's idea. You know, that's idea to practice. Okay, so let me ask you, uh, could you tell me three errors or three mistakes in this image? If you don't mind, three. Uh, number one, the umbrella is, is behind the painting. Mm -hmm. The phone is under the desk uh -huh. and the chair is under the desk. Uh, this chair. Yeah, right. A table, you mean? A table, perdón. Table, table. <laughs> La estaba buscando ahí en el escritorio donde están. Soy choco. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so let's go back to the main station then, if you don't mind. Okay? All right, so welcome back. So David, would you like to help us with one or two sentences? Uh, right now, I'll be choosing some of you to help us with this exercise. Voy a elegir cinco o si es posible todo, ¿verdad? Que participen acá, brevemente. Y si gusta, eh, David, you, you, you can help us with this one, if you don't mind. You choose, you choose, usted elige, all right? Um, empezaré con el libro. Okay, all right, that's okay. The the book over here. All right. The book is um, ¿cómo se dice cama? Se Bed. Me olvida. Bed. The book is on the bed. On, on, on the bed. Okay. On, on picture two, right? Okay. Picture picture two. Yeah. Okay. Um. Um, picture one, the book is is on um, the chair. That's perfect, David. That's perfect over there. So now I'm going to choose uh, Anayansi, please. Anayansi, please help us. Uh, you choose, please, any object in there. Dígame el objeto. Yo le doy zoom para que todos nos vayamos, ¿verdad? So everybody is on the same page. Yeah. Uh, uh, um... Pizza. 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 Right. The pizza, okay. Pizza, uh huh. Uh, con ese de abajo. Under, pizza. under. Pizza under bed. Okay. Uh huh. Y pizza next to chair. Yeah, you you can say that or by or or uh, or behind the chair, brother. Or, or next to the next to the chair, a la parte o atrás de. You may say that. Uh, 
o, o de hecho in front of the night table. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So just one more person over here, which I'm going to be choosing. Eh, right here. Jacqueline, please. Si nos hace los honores, por favor. <laughs> Jacqueline, you too. All right. Eh, voy a poner a silenciar a todos y Jacqueline, eh, quite eh, el silencio, por favor. If you don't mind. So unmute your microphone, please. Cualquiera, verdad? Yes, yes, yes. Cualquiera. El laptop in, on the table. Okay. Picture one. In picture two, the laptop, the lab is begin behind the lamp. Okay, that's great. Solamente aquí una, una aclaración, ¿verdad? On both pictures, the laptop is on the table. Okay, okay. Eso, es un, eso es una verdad. All right? En ambas está en la mesa. Entonces, lo que usted va a comparar y la diferencia es en relación con la lámpara y en relación con la taza de café. Entonces, en, en picture one sería next to cup. Next, next to the cup of coffee or next, next to the cup. Okay. But on picture two, the game, the, the lamp. Uh -huh. Behind or behind the lamp, correctly. That, that's it, that's it, right? That's it. Thank you. We're going to continue with the next uh, image or the next picture, this one. Like in the newspaper, right? Cuando usted mira la diferencia, ¿verdad? You see the difference over there, right? So you know how to do this. So that's the idea of this. Uh, so right now I'm going to choose three more uh, students that can help us uh, with this. And, Teacher, uh, solo tengo una duda. Yes, sir. Este, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, bueno, eh, te almohada is on, on the bed. Almohada. Or pillow or almohada. You say pillow. Entonces pillow. sería te pillow, te pillow is on the, on the bed. Yeah, the, sobre la cama. the pillow is on, is on the on the bed, right? Yes. Okay. Correct. Okay. And yes, the choice and on both images are on the bed, right? Pillows are on the bed over there. But thanks for asking, sir. Okay. Um, let me choose somebody over here. Okay. Um, somebody I haven't heard yet this night. Eh, Miss Dolores. <laughs> Se escucha raro si le digo Miss Dolores, verdad? Uh, so Dolores, please help us and with the mistakes over here, please, with the errors. Usted diga, dígame, yo le pongo aquí un chequecito, ¿verdad? Al error. Okay. On this one. The laptop okay. is on the clock. Nice. Thank you so much. So that's a mistake over there. Thank you. In this case, we're going to find the same mistakes. So, uh, Give me, if you don't mind, uh, two more, please, uh, Dolores. Uh, the newspapers mm -hmm. is next at the doors. Next to the door. And another option could be, uh, Dolores, what other option? What other option there is? Is there? Están en... No la escuché. Perdón, ¿cuál otra opción podría ser? What other option? Eh, the umbrella. Con, y, y si nos quedamos con el, digamos, el newspaper, ¿qué otra opción podría haber? Ah, the newspaper eh, is behind eh, windows. Mm. And the table. All right. Eh, solamente que, que me ayuden los, sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Eh, este es el newspaper, ¿verdad? Este es el periódico, ¿sí? Is this the newspaper? On the wall. Yeah, okay. So, in that case, the newspaper, uh, Dolores, is on the wall, ¿verdad? Está en la pared. On the this, this is the mm -hmm. newspaper. It's on the wall. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, and the last one, please. Perdone que la moleste tanto. And the last one, please. So, you told me that the laptop, newspaper, and what else? What else? ¿Qué más? What else? Um, 
the phone uh -huh. is in the table. Eh, ¿Está dentro de o está abajo de? Abajo. Entonces sería on. On. There. <laughs> Under. There. Under, mm -hmm. right? Under, Under the desk. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have three. Solo, uh, como, como se dice piso? Floor. 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 Okay. El vocabulario lo estoy mandando en el chat aquí de Zoom, ¿verdad? Eh, después lo vamos a revisar. Okay, me acuerdan, por favor. Please remind me. Floor. Así como el nombre de nuestra compañera. <laughs> Floor. <laughs> ¿Verdad? <laughs> right, Floor, you're famous tonight. Nice. All right. So um, let me choose somebody else over here. Catherine, please, if you can help us. We know women power over here. Three more, please. Um, mm -hmm. How do you say Sia? Chair. In plural is chairs. Chairs is under the table. Okay. The chairs are under the table. Okay. And the oración. Okay. Thank you. One, uh, two more, please. Otra. Yes. <laughs> um, the umbrella, if you don't mind. Umbrella. Mm -hmm. Umbrella is begin uh -huh. in the picture. You got it, right? It's behind the picture or behind the painting. And if you don't mind, please, the last one, ¿verdad? Si no le molesta. Yo estoy diciendo, tengo otra opción, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? If you don't mind, ¿verdad? Me puede compartir otra más, otro error. Otro objeto. Another object over there, please. Mm -hmm. Maybe the sofa. And the sofa is... Um, on? Yes. On the? On the... No sé cómo se dice escritorio. Desk. Desk. ¿Verdad? Desk. Okay. Sí, escritorio. Ahí está. Por eso es que la computadora de escritorio se dice desktop, ¿verdad? Y, y su escritorio en una computadora se dice desktop, donde usted lo guarda es su desktop, ¿verdad? Su computadora de escritorio, ¿ok? Y la laptop, se dice laptop porque la parte okay. que tiene las piernas, ¿verdad? Donde sentamos a los niños es lab, ¿verdad? Y aquí se supone que pone su computadora en las piernas, ¿verdad? Laptop, ¿ok? So that's why. <coughs> okay. right. Thank you. I appreciate your, 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 your help over here. We are still missing a couple of things. Raul, would you help us, sir, with three more? All right, so thank you, Catherine. Raul, would you help us, please? If you can give us a, a helping hand. No, the, the TV is in front of the window. The TV, yes. Yeah, it's, that's correct. It's in front of the window. And uh, the clock is in front of the TV. It's in front of the TV, okay. And, um, back, back. The desktop is in front of the door. Ah, the desk. Okay, okay, it's in front of the door. All right, yes, sir. Um, quiero ver. Let me see. This one is done already. The, es el mm. No, no. The uh, back, uh -huh. the back is inside the basket trash, no? You, you have two options, trash can or waste basket. Okay. Wait, basket. Wait, or trash can. All right. Oh, oh, trash, trash what? Trash can, can, can. Bote de la basura. Todo eso, este vocabulario, all of this vocabulary, ya lo mandé al chat aquí de, de, de Zoom. Okay. Y ya se lo voy a mostrar, ¿verdad? Trash como basura y luego can de una lata, ¿verdad? O bote. 
Yeah. Is correct trash basket? No. Waste basket. Waste basket. Waste basket. Uh -huh. ahí, está, ahí está en el chat también. Ok, esa palabra. Ya, ya voy a compartir. Bueno, vamos a compartir pantalla de una forma distinta y ustedes me dicen si alcanzan a ver eh, todo el vocabulario. Yo creo que sí se va a ver. Vaya, díganme si miran el chat. ¿O no se mira? No se mira. Vaya, no. no. Ok, so don't, don't worry about that. Yeah, Vamos. Uh, no. Let me copy all of this vocabulary. ¿Qué pasa con la basura que no está dentro del cesto? How do you say that? Está en el piso. It's on the floor. It's on the floor, right? You got it. Thank you. Uh, all right. Table. All right. So now, uh, let me just uh, continue. With, I know that this is new, right? <clears throat> Sorry. Voy a, let me go to another screen y vamos a ver el vocabulario. All right. Okay. Si usted ya sabe esto, ténganos un poquito de paciencia. ¿Verdad? Pero vamos a, a, a ponernos todos en, en, en sintonía over here. Okay. Let me just one second. Todo, lo que hice fue copiar el vocabulario. Y... And I have it on a slide, but not to okay. 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 And here we go. All right. Eh, permítame. Aquí vamos. All right, so... Um, Déjeme ir con esta full screen y aquí va, ¿verdad? Está un poquito pequeño, pero vamos a darle zoom acá. Entonces, furniture son sus muebles, ¿verdad? Su mes, your chairs, your table, your desks, ¿ok? Everything in there. ¿Ok? Your shelves, ¿verdad? Que son sus, sus donde pone los libros, shelves or bookshelves, appliances, electrodomésticos, ¿ok? Painting son sus pinturas, sus cuadros, painting, or picture, ¿verdad? Pero picture también se ocupa para fotografías, entonces como que no está muy adecuado. Upside down, como si estuviera una silla cuando nosotros las ponemos, ¿verdad? De cabeza, ¿verdad? Patas arriba encima de la mesa. Ok, upside down. O usted se siente, no sé, deprimido, o upside down de cabeza. Esto nada que ver, ¿verdad? Sino que es la hora que yo puse, porque copié eso. Trash can. Usted puede decir bote de la basura como trash can, porque can es una lata, ¿verdad? Can, ¿verdad? Waste basket es el cesto de la basura, los que compra usted, ¿verdad? Lo, lo, the one out of plastic. Eh, de mí para todos, dice aquí. <laughs> That's funny. All right. And he says, what else? So, cuando yo les digo, what else, everyone? ¿Qué más? ¿Algo más? What else? Esta frase. What else, please? Floor. You know, como nuestra amiga, floor. Like our friend, floor. Chairs are under the table, ¿verdad? The chairs are under the table. I don't mind. Or I don't mind es si no les molesta, ¿verdad? If you don't mind, le digo yo. Desk es escritorio. Y aproveche, ¿verdad? Aproveche ahorita de, 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 de preguntarme y dígame, vaya, ¿cuál es cuál? ¿Verdad? O dígame, ¿cómo se dice? How do you say, ¿verdad? Take advantage, ¿verdad? Sorry about that. Let's see. Here we go. All right. Yeah, you can tell me. So how do you say? Mire la imagen. So look at the images before and tell me. How do you say this? How do you say the other one? Okay. So take advantage, please. Yes? Teacher, how do you say armario or ropero? Okay. You, closet. <laughs> closet. Yes, yeah, sir. Is the unique the unique form? Yeah, that's how you say. That's how you say. It's a closet. It's a closet. All right. All right. So, any other question, please? Let me erase this because that's not necessary. Okay. If there are no questions, uh, you know I should keep moving forward. All right. So that's, that's the, 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 the theme over there, okay? That's the theme over there. And uh, let me go the extra mile for you, everyone. I'm sending this vocabulary 
into the chat. Ok. In WhatsApp. Ahí les queda ya. All right. So there you go. Do you have any questions for me? No questions? Okay. Thank you. Appreciate your feedback in here. Um, let me close this. You know, this is just the tip of the iceberg, what we will cover today, ¿verdad? Solamente es la, como decimos, solo el inicio, right, of this. Okay, so here we go. Now, right now, let's, uh, let's see, maybe relax a little bit because there's a conversation which I'm going to play. And this one is it's called, it's a nice car or nice car, okay? And on this one right now, just listen up. I will play the, the, the audio, just listen, pay attention to the pronunciation, and then you're going to practice, okay? And I will, I will explain uh, this grammar, all right? You will be working on this uh, exercise one, two, and, and, and the conversation in there. Entonces, cuando termine de explicar, y después de la conversación, los manden grupos pequeños. You will practice the conversation. Y va a armar este fill in the blanks. Ejercicio A. En exercise A, part 2. Ok. But first, I will explain, you know, the grammar in here. Positive and negative statements in there. Ok. And in there, I, I hope you ask me a lot of questions. Okay, espero que me haga muchas preguntas. All right, because that's the idea. Okay, so just one second. Uh, to go here, the two audio, and that's the one. Page 36, exercise two, conversation. Mm -hmm. Nice car. Listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job, and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. All right, so I'm going to play this a second time. Were you able to listen? Si se escuchó el audio. Yes? All right, thank you. Yes. Yeah. All right, so uh, listen again, please. Second time. Now, pay attention that she says, Ashley, she says, uh, they don't drive the word. They don't, don't, verdad? So she says this in a very informal way. All right? So uh, they don't or they don't drive. Okay, so it's up to you. Okay. And uh, here we go. Um, sorry about that. And uh, page 36, exercise two, conversation. Nice car. Listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job, and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. Okay, okay. When I explain the grammar, I'm going to uh, refer to this conversation so you so you can understand this in context, right? So right now, just listen up, please, and I'll be, uh, let's see, uh, pronouncing this, Ashley and Jason, okay? So she goes, nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Is it yours? Okay. Vamos a hacer una práctica que se llama hacer link sounds, all right? Link sounds o unión de sonido, ¿verdad? Link como enlace y luego sound de sonido, ¿verdad? So that's the practice uh, we're going to do right now, ¿ok? Entonces, si yo le pongo aquí, ¿verdad? Lo mancho, significa que 
you gotta join this sound. Is it yours? All right. No, it's my sister's. She has a new, she has a new, all right? Take a look at this. That's what we're doing. We're identifying the link sounds, all right? So let me stop sharing this. Let me share again, please. Hagamos esa práctica, please. Vamos a hacer as many uh, uniones de sonidos as, as possible, right? Uh, so link sounds. And I'm going to send that to you in capital letters, so in mayúsculas, to the chat over there. All right, so I'm checking this right now. Link sounds, okay? So um, let me go back to the screen again. Quizás ahorita invertimos mucho tiempo en pequeños detalles, verdad? But later on, the idea is you, you know, uh, I would say use all of these uh, tips I'm giving you, all right? So uh, she, has, she has a new job and she drives to work, okay? Is her job... Uh, is her is her job here in the hearing? All right. Hearing no es que lo va a decir rápido, verdad? O siempre va a decir hearing, verdad? Y se va se va a apurar, no. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. La speaker de hecho dijo esto bien informal, verdad? La como una R, right? But that is up to you. You know, they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train, the bus or La regla es que después de un sonido de consonante va una vocal, unimos los sonidos. Ok, one more time, please. Tiene una consonante como una S, es lo más común, y después tiene una vocal de sonido, unimos, ¿verdad? Bas or. Y eso aplica, ¿verdad? Y sit es la S. Has, a S, después, de una, después va una vocal. Luego aquí va here, here, ¿verdad? Here in, all right? Eh, and then bas or. The train doesn't stop near our, okay? Our como hora, como la hora, right? Our, near our house, so they take the bus, okay? Nice, uh, you're going to practice this in a second, but in the meantime, I'm gonna send this to you. I know that some of you take advantage of the time. While I'm explaining, you can be practicing, but that's la ventaja ahorita que usted con su micrófono apagado. Puede estar practicando esto. So now you're like preparing, ¿verdad? Se está preparando para la práctica grupal, you know, for the teamwork, all right? That you're, you're about to do, okay? Uh, so I'm sending that to you uh, right now. Okay, so just one second. Yeah, can you please tell me if you got it? Okay, yes? You got it, right? O sea, si, si recibieron la, la imagen. All right, I, I guess you did. Now, um, now, just to double check over here. So the simple present is statements. The simple present is just, you can talk about routines, daily activities, okay? You, you can describe your job, describe somebody else's job. Simple present is to talk about, uh, let's see, things that you have to do, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, uh, daily activities, okay, uh, hobbies, all right, et cetera, et cetera. Occupations, ocupamos para actividades diarias, para ocupaciones, cosas con frecuencia, et cetera, et cetera, right? You're like your daily routine, that's a simple present, okay? What's a little bit, I would say, uh, complicated when it comes to the, to the uh, simple present es cuando utilizamos eh, la figura de he, which is él, she, ella, and then uh, eat, como digamos, el tren, el bus, etc., mi perro, etc., all right? My dog, etc. So that's, that's when it, it's a little bit complicated. So, um, but the, the general rule is que cuando usted habla de una tercera persona, ya sea él o ella, en singular, le agrega S. A la gran mayoría de los verbos. Yo diría que un 90% of the time, Okay. Y eso quiero que quede así como bien recalcado. Si yo hablo en bien o en mal de uno de ustedes, ¿verdad? Así como en español, ¿verdad? Chambrear o cualquier cosa o dar información de una otra persona, le va a agregar la S al verbo. That's a general rule para casi todos. But there are some exceptions, ¿ok? 
Y usted lo puede ver aquí en, en el contrato, en letritas pequeñas, ¿verdad? Aquí abajito donde dice, verb endings, he, she, and it, ¿verdad? What are the verbs that we have over here, by the way? ¿Qué verbos tenemos aquí en este cuadrito that I'm, that I'm signaling, that I'm pointing? Can somebody just tell me the verbs over here? Uh -huh. ¿Cuáles son los verbos que tengo acá? What are the verbs that I have in here? Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. Study. Study. Write. Write. Um, watch. Watch. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now it's okay. You can mute your microphone. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. We still have time. Okay. Esto, si lo vemos hoy, no significa que usted se lo va a aprender hoy, pero lo va a practicar. Y el resto de su vida que usted aprende inglés, se va a seguir equivocando. Créame, porque es un proceso. Pero lo importante es que no nos quedemos solamente de que lo vi un día, me lo dieron de clase, ¿verdad? Lo explicó, sé que le tengo que llegar a ese. Hay que hacer el intento, ¿verdad? Eh, va a llegar el momento ya con práctica y todo. Este, usted va a manejar este tiempo gramatical en la tercera persona, ¿verdad? Si yo, le, si yo digo, I take the bus, ¿verdad? Yo abordo el bus. Pero si yo digo que Claudia aborda el bus, voy a decir, she takes the bus. ¿Ok? Agrego la S porque es un verbo normal. But what about when it comes to study? Si el verbo termina en Y o Y, cambio la Y por Y latina y le agrego la ES. Y la pronunciación va a ser eh, Baltasar estudia inglés. Baltasar studies or studies, studies con una R, studies English every night. ¿Ok? Eh, mi niño, mi hijo mira televisión. My son watch no va a decir watch TV, va a decir watches TV. Watches, como watchar, ¿verdad? Ahí viene el verbo, ¿ok? Watches, ¿ok? Entonces, el mensaje que yo les quiero dar es lo siguiente. Que cuando es tercera persona, deténgase, piense un poquito y después revise si va a decir walks, solo agregamos la S, o va a decir watches or studies, etc. ¿Ok? No se me aprendan muchas reglas, por favor. Porque al final lo que importa es que usted practique, que usted mismo se corrija o que le corrijan la plana. So that's what matters over there. Okay. But in general, in general, we got simple present statements, you know, uh, positive, and then you have negative statements over here. And for this, I have a listening, ¿verdad? So listen to the pronunciation over here uh, very quickly. And then uh, we, we will continue with this, ¿verdad? Uh, here we go. Page 37, Exercise 4, Grammar Focus, Simple Present Statements. I walk to school. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. Okay. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. Let's repeat, please. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. All right. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. All right. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. All right. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. In simple words, si usted va a decir algo negativo cuando se incluye a usted, you know, I, you, we, en they va a decir don't y luego el verbo, cualquier verbo, you know. We don't live, uh, they don't need, you don't live, uh, I don't live, all right? You, right, as well. Pero si usted habla de una tercera persona, okay, su jefe, su jefa, su compañero, your partner, you know, your class, uh, classmate, your coworker, your colleague, your boss, etc., you have to say doesn't para él. And that's in for she. Okay? 
It's always that way. This is just grammar, ¿verdad? Y cuando usted ocupe el negativo, nunca le va a agregar una S en tercera persona. O sea, el negativo solo lleva el dasen y el verbo normal. ¿Ok? Negativo lleva el dasen y el verbo normal. But in positive, el verbo se conjuga y le agrega una S. Positive, le agrega una S. Lo demás viene por añadidura. All right? That's what matters over there. ¿Ok? And you, you're going to keep on practicing this. With practice comes perfection. All right. Now, as I promised, since we still have time, we still have 15 more minutes for this class to be over. Esta clase quizás fue un cosito, un poquito así pesadita, ¿verdad? Bien cargada, ¿verdad? Por los prepositions. Y ahora tenemos esto. Entonces, como que los ánimos se pueden bajar. Pero this is going to help you for, for, for your English life over here. Uh, so right now, do you have any questions for me? If there are no questions, let me give you the instructions for the next activity. Like, as I said before, what you have to do in this opportunity is the following. I'm going to place you, lo voy a poner en, en, en grupo de tres, you will practice this conversation, okay? Then you will uh, fill in the blanks, dice aquí. Paul Carter is talking about his family, complete the sentences with the correct verb forms, then compare with a partner, okay? Entonces, eh, yo creo que por cuestiones de tiempo no vamos a alcanzar a terminar los dos ejercicios, pero nos podemos ayudar. Lo ideal es conversation, you practice one time, two times, hasta que todos hayan practicado. Y aquí el fill in the blanks, nos auxiliamos de nuestros compañeros, ¿ok? And then, cuando ya tengamos el fill in the blanks, you write them down, los anota if you want to, ¿verdad? Solo la respuesta. Y luego practicamos, ¿verdad? My family and I live in the suburbs. My, my wife and I work near here. So we walk to work, our daughter Emily, et cetera, et cetera, right? And then you go, you know, over there. Okay? Do we have a deal? Tenemos un trato. Yes? Yes. All right. So you may say, I, I, I got no other option, you may say. No tengo otra opción. <laughs> okay. So I think I sent the, uh, the conversation already to you. Quiero ver. Yes, I did. You have the conversation over there. And one, one last favor, everyone. Un último favor. Hagamos la unión de sonidos, los link sounds in this conversation, ¿verdad? Eh, and, and so uh, join, join the rooms, please, in a second. Okay. Voy a crear los, los, los salones rapidito. And then we take it from there. There you go. All right, so 15 more minutes and then uh, the class will be over. So you, you could rest, ¿verdad? Podrían descansar si es que pueden. Okay. So join the rooms, please. Mira, verdad. Sí, ese sería. Gracias por compartir la pantalla. Eso es muy buena práctica. Muchas gracias. Ok. Thank, thank you so much, sir. Ok. Eh, si gusta, empiezo yo con, con quién. Con las dos. No, o sea, las dos nos va a tocar. Si quiere conmigo y luego con, con Jacqueline. Ok. Eh, nice car, Jason. Is, is it old? It's, no, I, uh, it's my sister's. No, it's my sister's. She has, she has a new job and, uh, and she drives to work. Mm -hmm. Is her job hitting the uh, suburbs? Suburbs. suburbs? No, it's downtown. 
my parent works at uh, Tongue, but uh, but they but they don't they don't uh, drive to work. They don't drive to work. Okay. They use they uh -huh, use so public uh, trump. They use public uh, transportation. Mm -hmm. The bus or the train? Uh, the trains doesn't stop near ours. A uh, house surveys takes the bus. Okay. But now listen, listen to me, please. All right, listen to me. So I know, Rocio, you may be wondering, se estará preguntando, why Sisters has an S over here? Se pregunta por qué tiene una S. Es como cuando va al salón de belleza que dice, eh, I don't know, Brittany's salón, ¿verdad? El salón de belleza de. O yo le digo, Rocio's card. El salón de. El carro de. It's a position, you know, it's a position. That's why. Okay. And just my that sisters. And, yeah, it's my sisters. My sisters. My sisters. My okay. sisters. Right? Okay. I can ask you, so uh, whose cell phone is this? And you can say, ah, is my brother's. Es el teléfono de mi hermano. Okay. Whose car is mi that hermano. one? The king is ese carro. Es el suyo, le voy a decir, de Rocío. Is Rocío's car. Agregamos una S. El apóstrofe y la S significa de. All right. Mm, okay. Then that's how you say. Y no tiene que mencionar el objeto o la posesión, porque va a decir, um, ¿de quién es este vaso? Right. Whose whose uh, glass is this? It's it's mine. Es mío. O puede decir, it's uh, my brother's. Verdad. Es de mi hermano. My brother's. Agrega una S. But that's something else. Eh, Caesar. Publico, in, in English you say public, public, public. Public. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. And that's it, all right. Thank you. So I'll be back. So they take so, the bus. Yes. Lo hacemos otra vez. Okay. Bye. Look at my screen. If you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice car. Comienzo. Bye. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it is my sister. She has a new Joyce and she drives the world. Is her, his her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My father, my parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. Mm -hmm. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train then stops near her house. Suray takes the bus. All right, thank you. Uh, so, uh, Dolores, uh, uh, suburbios, suburbs, suburbs. 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 Yes. Suburbs. Uh, usar, usar, uh, use. 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 Okay? Use. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's it. Nice. Good job. Yes. Good job. All right? To drop. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so Did let's check. continue. Yes. Uh, the, on the this the try don't stop. I uh, see. Ah, uh, doesn't, 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 doesn't stop, doesn't, doesn't stop, doesn't stop, doesn't stop. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, the train doesn't, doesn't stop. stop near our Or house. house. So uh, our, our, como ahora, verdad? Our, 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 mm -hmm. our house. So, entonces, so. And they take the bus. So the they, the they take the bus. The es muy importante okay. las pausas, ¿verdad? Las pausas para que hagamos una buena entonación. Porque mm -hmm. si decimos okay. the train doesn't stop near y pausa mucho our house, 
So they take the bus, es como que no se entiende, como, so the train. Mm -hmm. Se pierde la idea, ¿verdad? Ajá, near our house. O sea, usted puede ir despacio, ¿verdad? Pero sin perder la idea, no se preocupe. O sea, no vamos mm -hmm. a ir así, ¿verdad? Okay. <laughs> That's not okay. Eh, teacher, nice. ¿cómo dijo suburbios? Suburbs. 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 Sí. La fuerza de, de voz es en la segunda sílaba. Está en la segunda sílaba. Suburbs. Suburbs. Okay. Creo que ahí es. Sí. No me equivoco. Ok. Suburbs. Es como más neutro. No va a decir suburbs. No. Ok. Suburbs. Suburbs. Yes. Nice you, practice or, you practice two times over here. Yes. Ok. Ok. Yes. 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 Entonces, if you're ready, let's go to the next exercise. <laughs> okay. Okay. Vamos Thank you. Siguiente. Welcome. All right. I'll be back. Thanks. Take. 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 Take to work. To work. My father is retired, so he doesn't work now. So he also uses public transportation. So, so they, they don't, don't need a car. A car. Ahí está. All right. And oh, that was that was very good, uh, Eduardo. Could you could you start, please, from the very beginning, if you don't mind? Number two, my parents. Uh, uh, my parents live in the city. My mother takes a train to work. Yes. My father is retired, so he doesn't work now. He also uses public transportation, so they don't need a car. That's perfect, by the way. Thank you so much. What about what about the, the first one, uh, Mr. Baltazar, okay. uh, Mr. Hernandez? My family and I live in the suburbs. My wife and I? Eh, Baltasar or me? Eh, you, Nelson. Okay. My family and I live in the suburbs. My wife and I work near work. here, so we work. Mm -hmm. Work. To work our daughter Emily. Work. Work. Downtown. Work. Downtown. Shoe. No. Oh. So she drives to work. Our son doesn't drive. He rides his bike to school. That's perfect, sir. Yes, you say uh, my wife and I work near here. So we walk uh, to work. Our daughter Emily works downtown. So she drives to work. Our son doesn't drive. He rides uh, his bike to, to school. That was great. My mother. Okay. Yes. My mother. We have to, let's say, like overemphasize the pronunciation sometimes, all right? Because right now we're learning. Uh, and that's pretty much public it. Public transportation. Public, public, public transportation. Public, public. Yeah, that's, that's public how you say it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see what time is it right now. It's 9 57. Right? We got to come back to the main station, but if you have one more minute if you want to stay over here. Okay. So. Just one second. All right, so Eduardo, you're going to help me with uh with somebody else, once everybody's back to practice the conversation, please. And since you are the first one to be here, uh, you're gonna be Jason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if you want to be Ashley, so it doesn't really matter. No, so. no, 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 fine, fine, fine. <laughs> it's fine, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's I'm totally fine, fine over here. So, I mean, that's okay. Uh, so Eduardo, let me, let me tell you something here. After this module is yeah. over, uh, I think you should ask uh, Elena, which is my boss, and see if you can take an exam. You know, maybe you can be in another uh, place. I mean, the thing is that I don't want you to get bored. You know, I, you know, I thank you because you help us. 
all right? You help your classmates and everything, but if you don't think that you're like really learning new stuff, I think you should go to the major leagues, all right? I want you here, you know, <laughs> but it's up to you. It's up to you. Okay. All right, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah we think about yes. it. Because if it's not a challenge, so it's like, it's it, it doesn't have any sense, all right? Okay? Okay. Yes. Fine. But, uh, but right now, since you already started this, Eduardo, you cannot leave. <laughs> Otherwise, in support <laughs> will, will chase you down, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know how it is, right? Okay, so uh, yeah. so everyone, welcome back. It's almost time to uh, to go, but Eduardo is going to help us practice this um, conversation. And I'm gonna choose um, uh, Rocio Pimentel, please. So Rocio, you will be Jason, I'm sorry, you will be Ashley, and Eduardo, you are Jason. Uh, whenever you're ready, please, uh, Miss P Pimentel. Uh, okay, nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is, is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. Thank you so much. Okay, and then we will continue uh, over here. So now uh, I'm gonna choose Raul. If you don't mind, sir, help us on number one, please. Uh, everything, you know, all at once. Thank you, Eduardo. All right, and Rocio, appreciate it. All right. Uh, Raul. Okay. Uh, my family and I live in the suburbs. My wife, and I work near here. So, mm -hmm. so we walk right to work. So we walk to work. Okay. My daughter Emily works in downtown. So she drives to work. Our son doesn't drive. He rides his bike to school. Thank you, sir. So remember, my family and I live, live, all right? Live is en vivo, ¿verdad? Como a live concert, okay? But that's something different, okay? Live concert. But right now, if it's only el verbo vivir, it's my family and I live, porque es my, sorry, my family lives, and I, right? Porque es mi familia y yo, o sea, nosotros, live. And my wife and I, es, ella y yo, okay? Nosotros, my, fam, my wife and I, we work, work. near here. A pronunciation, walk, no walk, please. This walk. goes to everyone, brother. Walk, walk to work. Our daughter, Emily, como es ella, Emily, works work. downtown, okay? Downtown. So she, she drives. drives. Exactly. Our, our son, our son doesn't, doesn't right? drive. And he rides He's his bike to school. to school. Thank you so much. I'll be choosing a, a lady mm -hmm. here that might help us. Uh, Flor, would you like to help us? Okay. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, please. Number two. My parent, okay. My parent life in, this, in the city. My mother take a train to work. My father is um, retired. retired. So he Doings work now. He also okay. use public transportation to the town. Doings, verdad? Don't. Don't. Don't, Don't need, a car. need a car. All right. So listen up, please. My parents live porque son ellos, verdad? My parents, mis padres. I live. Live in the, my mother takes ella, verdad? Takes a train to work. Takes. My father is retired, okay. ¿verdad? Ya está jubilado, retired. Retire. So he uh, doesn't, doesn't, right? Doesn't, doesn't. because of hell, all right? 
That he is. also uses, uses, he also uses, el usa, uses, tercera persona, he, ¿verdad? And then, so, date, don't. Okay? Okay. So, with this, we're done with today's class. Remember, the homework, it's already open. And you can, you know, start working in the platform. And the deadline, es decir, la fecha limited, the deadline is this coming Friday during the day, please. Okay? Hope to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Y tenemos los one-on-ones. Si usted lo va a cambiar, eh, let me know, please. And there's no problem. Brother. So have a great night, everyone. Hope to see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So. And see you around. So good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night teacher. Good night. Good night. Teacher, good night every day. Every day. <laughs> good night, teacher. That's okay. Goodbye, Anayansi. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>